Okay guys, we're inside of Helldivers, and I am back home from Spain, so the quality of the videos are going to get 10 times better, because boy oh boy have I got a shed ton more information for you guys. We're going to go over the major order today, as we seem to like knock that one out of the park within about 12 hours or so, which is absolutely nutty. And we're going to talk about something that the CEO of Arrowhead has actually spoken about. We've got some incredible clips and some leaks for you guys towards the end of the video, but don't worry, we'll give the spoiler warnings before we get there. If you haven't already, make sure you smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. It'd be greatly appreciated. And today, the video isn't sponsored, but we have an incredible message from myself all the same. Enjoy. Okay, so this video has no sponsor to it at all because we have had a parcel come. <sighs> we have worked around eight years for this. And it's finally now arrived. Now I've got to obviously hide the box when I'm first opening it because it's got my address attached to it. But I've got the letter from YouTube. <laughs> oh my god. That looks phenomenal. We need to get this out of the box. That is incredible. Presented to Cloud Plays for passing 100,000 subscribers. We have worked so many years for this and it is absolutely amazing. So thank you so much for all of your support here on the channel. We're going to get this hung up and get it in pride and place. And when we start streaming, it means that you guys will finally see this one in the background. Thank you so much. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. This is the next goal on route. Thank you. I appreciate your faces. But yeah, what an incredible, incredible achievement. Thank you so much for everything you guys have done. It's been an amazing journey up until now. But nonetheless, the hard work does not stop because we have loads of news coming from the Helldivers scene for you guys, including this right here. So starting off, we have got the Major Order, which was originally to kill 2 billion Terminids. Yep, it did seem pretty damn bleak and it was a little bit concerning. We had 5 days and 23 hours to complete that. Well, lo and behold, we did it in about 12, 13 hours. The first day it was completed with 5 days and 11 hours remaining. This is absolutely insane. I don't know what was happening, but there was a Reddit post that stated the following. The current MO is a triple counting kills. So as you can see right here on the screen, these numbers are so bloody big, so I'm not even going to attempt to read them. But you can see right here, the difference was of 50 million in 30 minutes. Now, obviously, that is a triple point, which would have put the ratio up to three to one, which is absolutely crazy, but it doesn't seem to make any sense. I'm believing that if obviously a kill counts for one person, then it counts for the entire team. So like everything else, if you kill one of these bugs, it would count for three, maybe four, because it would count for every single individual person inside of that squadron. It's a little bit crazy how that one worked out, but I don't think they quite expected us to do it with that amount of time, especially with the major order that they tried to buy time on with nearly six days on the clock. This was something that we knew that they were going to do, and I personally had advised them to do a longer major order. Unfortunately for them, they didn't quite manage to set up a longer major order. Actually, they probably set up the the slowest major order I've ever seen in my life. We have never completed a major order so quickly before. That was pretty damn nutty. Anyway, though, moving on to other news, the CEO has actually commented on a post from Helldivers Alerts. Now, it states right here that the evacuate high value assets is very fun so what about the reverse here's the assault missions could look like now obviously we know that the high value assets one is almost like a tower defense so what they're obviously going for is maybe like a tower attack where we have to attack like a hive tower or something like that and it would look absolutely incredible well the ceo of arrowhead actually commented saying this is crazy similar to the prototype objective from some years back now why would they take this out. This is something that baffles me quite greatly because the assault ones would be absolutely mental. The extract high value assets are probably one of my favorite ones inside of the game right now. I do prefer to do those over pretty much anything else. So I don't really know why they would have eradicated that one. Let me know your guys' concepts and thoughts about this down in the comment section below. But yeah. 
we're going to dive on in to some clips from you guys that are bloody hilarious before we get into the spoiler zones. But before we get into any of that, we are giving away a copy of Helldivers 2. Now, if you want a copy of this game, and don't panic, if you've already got it, we're giving you guys the money equivalent in super credits, then all you have to do is head down into the description, and I want a grey heart. Why do we want a grey heart? This is going to represent the 100k silver play button that we showed you guys earlier. Thank you so much again for all of your support. It's been absolutely incredible. We've got a bigger giveaway happening at the end of this week that you guys will definitely want to be a part of because this one's no messing around. Thank you so much. Make sure you get down to the comment section. Grey heart in the comment section and we're going to be doing this one until the weekend when we announce the big giveaway for you guys. It's going to be crazy. I'm well excited. But nonetheless, get involved in it and we will announce the winner this weekend over on the community page and on the Discord, which is at nearly 11,000 people large right now. We'll announce it in the giveaway announcement page over on there as well. But with that being said, let's get on into some hilarious clips inside of this game. So some he actually posted up a reddit post right here that states the spear needs a nerf as shown a spear is just too powerful even the mutating jumper titans don't stand a chance now he actually blew up a bile titan right here with what seems to look like a, a massively well aimed spear and good freaking gracious look at this he absolutely annihilates it and fails the objective because he flings it across the map. Now, this is absolutely brilliant and it definitely made my day. And to say that I had to laugh out loud when I watched this is a bloody understatement. I freaking love clips like this. And we've got another one coming from this guy right here on Reddit that states, I just got Mortal Kombat Fatality by my own sentry turret. Now, you couldn't time this any better. That is quite far probably one of my favorite ever clips inside of Helldivers 2. This thing gets two things that slam down. He then obviously turns around, gets knocked into the first one. The turret shoots him in the air and then he gets fatality by the second turret dropping down. Absolutely, absolutely hilarious. I mean, I don't know why you'd put two turrets so close together because that first one definitely would have destroyed the second one anyway. But nonetheless, this is probably one of the best clips I think I've ever seen on the internet. So damn funny. Now, in this absolutely action-packed video, we have got leaked territory for you guys right now. So if you guys don't want to be a part of this one, you don't want to spoil it for yourselves, now is the time to jump out of the video. But this one is absolutely awesome. We've got some really big things to show you guys. So for those of you guys who want to jump out, now is your chance. Are you gone? Yep. Okie dokie then. So those of you guys who are left over want to see this craziness. I love it. We've got the new medical backpack preview and utility. And this gameplay footage looks absolutely amazing. Not only does it have some awesome armor that I really, really want for the record. I'm not a massive fan of the uh, the yellow. And we all know that I want my glowing red, but it just won't happen. This does look incredible. And not only that, but a quadruple slot healing package will actually add in for a lot. Now, Personally, this may only be kind of useful towards the mid rounds of difficulty. I can't imagine a lot of people are going to use this, but it would work quite well for a support character. It essentially adds in two synths of stims per slot. So obviously that adds in an extra eight stims that you guys could be carrying around for people and yourselves. And it works as quite a good support package. Overall though, I don't know how much it's going to get used, but it is a pretty clever concept. Moving on to the next topic, though, we have some Illuminate images for you guys, and these ones are, well, not a mess around at all. We have two in the main usage. We've got this one right here, which is the Illuminate Adept Mage. Now, you've heard me right, Illuminate Adept Mage. We obviously have the Mesh View, the Tier 1 Mage, and the Tier 2 Mage. Now, there isn't a lot of info on this, although Iron Sights, who massive shout out to him his leaks are absolutely incredible but he has posted this up right here that says this is the adept magnus adept the adept is a wielder of magic that can dodge has the ability to called void flame and will alert allies upon 
on spotting a diver it hovers a lot as well now obviously I apologize for the renders but i think that the renders are absolutely incredible this thing looks mental and the fact that it has a tier one and a tier two i'm not overly excited about this one i think a tier one sounds scary enough let alone a tier two version of it which we'll have to see how this one pans out but i'm presuming this is a little bit like the the charger concept inside of the game where you have different styles of charges maybe this will just be different styles of adept mages and this could be a very very interesting one indeed but nonetheless i'm excited to see how this one actually goes down then we've got another one here coming from the almighty iron sights again which is the colony rover vehicle now this is the colony rover it is a super earth vehicle and may be able to be driven by players it has driving properties and a placeholder animation so obviously you can see the rover on certain missions but it is destroyed now the normals were messed up and the mesh was mixed with its destroyed counterpart but he did his best to clean it up but there is obviously a load of different coding inside of the actual files that would imply that you could drive this thing so do we have a new vehicle on our hands we'll have to wait and see but it very much looks like we're going to have access to this thing very very soon and we have a final leak on this one although it's something that you guys may have already seen this illuminate guy looks absolutely amazing as well now they've obviously got the rendered view with the color palette on here but it states right here this is guy tier two the long staff we saw previously appears in the hybrid weapon used by the guy in its one-handed form the weapon can function like a bow staff allowing quick strikes at close range in its two-handed form the weapon can fire some sort of long-range projectile the guy must pick up the weapon before using it now obviously this is pretty damn nutty and i'm so concerned for when these illuminate eventually turn up these guys are going to be so much hard work it's going to be crazy but i want to know what your guys opinions are via the comment section below this one has been a long one but i think it's been justified there has been so much in the scene and now that we're back from spain we can really hammer in on giving you guys exactly what it is that you need thank you so much again for watching guys if you haven't already like subscribe appreciate your faces and as always i'll see you in the clouds